Well, I was classically trained as a painter, and then when I went to graduate school, the program that I went through didn't require you to remain medium specific. I also just aesthetically liked the idea that it wasn't too precious when it was on newsprint and people would be less intimidated to take it and cut it up and repurpose it by putting it somewhere else, um, which is the whole point of the newspaper. You take your favorite snippet and you cut it out and you put it up somewhere and you send me a photograph of that. I'm pretty nervous, honestly, because I think there is a sense of intimacy with these snippets. And I'm not sure if that's gonna get lost with this show being on such a large scale. It's a little scary to have to rely on other people to help me get it done. That's part of it too, I suppose. Can you poke it in the middle? <laughs> yeah. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Huh? This is some serious installation business. This work also really appealed to me because it wasn't as solitary when you're painting in your studio, you're alone. Once it's bought, it's gone forever and if not, it probably just ends up in storage somewhere. I'm very pleased now that Brian's here. I feel like I'm in good hands. He knows what he's doing and it's nice to just see it all starting to lay out the way I envision. I think one of the best snippets I ever received via email was a, a photograph from a gentleman in Canada who had received the snippet that says, yes, I'll fight you. And he and two other people are in the photograph, but they're all naked. So there's this very interesting parallel happening between this really aggressive message and this passive position that they've put themselves in. And I'm not necessarily sure they intended for that to happen, but I really find that interesting that these two things are going on at the same time. There's one photograph that I got from someone He's standing next to a subway train that's, I don't know if it's coming or going, but it, it, you can see that it's moving next to him. And he also was one of the first, because when this project started, I originally asked people to put the snippets in a window, but he was one of the first people who just ignored those criteria and decided instead to just take the snippet out into the world and send it to me in that way. And he made me realize that it could be even simpler and easier and better. And so yeah, that one's that one holds a special place in my heart. I love getting responses like that, but there's no way to determine when these are gonna come in and it really brings back this idea that everything is so subjective. I have no idea how someone's going to interpret this message that I put out into the world. So it just reaffirmed for me that this project has meaning and, and that it, it can have a life completely outside of the one I may have intended for it. <laughs>